it is time to make some smoked chicken enchilada. So we've got my dad's Traeger here that I'm going to figure out how to turn on. So I finally figured out how to turn it on. I'm preheating it to 250 right now. And I just wanna get some smoky flavor on the chicken. So let's go grab the chicken. So we've got our chicken here, four individual breasts or, or four that are like put together like that. This is a third of a cup of honey, three tablespoons of brown sugar packed, three chipotles in adobo sauce that were kind of, I used the back of a knife to smash them, one ounce of green chilies, two teaspoons of cumin and two teaspoons of oregano. And this I am just going to slather all over the chicken. And we're just gonna smoke those at 250 degrees until they are done. I did use all of the marinade. Okie dokie, the chicken already looks crazy, super tasty. And to go inside of our enchiladas, I'm gonna do a little bit of rice. So I just made, or it's on the stove right now, but I used three cups of this instant rice, white rice, three cups of water, two tablespoons of low sodium, better than bouillon, roasted chicken base, three ounces, or two ounces actually, of diced green chilies that I smushed up and then I mix that all together and that's what the rice cooked in. Okie dokie. So we ended up adding another ounce to the rice just to give it a little bit more flavor. It's chilling out right there and once we're ready to eat, I'm just gonna reheat it in the microwave a little bit. Down here are our delicious enchiladas. We ended up with 14. We used just regular flour, 10 inch tortillas. And I added about, I'd say about a third of the rice to the chicken after it was shredded and then just filled up the tortillas with them. I did two ladles of sauce in the bottom and then I divided the rest of the sauce between the two pans and each one is topped with a 10 ounce block of crumbled queso fresco. I'm definitely gonna show you guys what they look like when they're done, but so far they look so good and I'm gonna have all the sauce ingredients in the description box, I took a basic enchilada sauce and then I doctored it up. And we're doing 350 for 45 minutes. Holy cow. Those were some darn good cheesy enchiladas. I forgot to film before I devoured them, but there's gonna be a picture in the thumbnail. So that's all you get, I guess. If you liked this video, make sure to give us a big thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit that bell so that you see the next time me and Xena upload a new video. Get out and enjoy nature and food as much as we do. And I forgot, we did broil the enchiladas for about three minutes for um, each pan. So yeah, get out and enjoy nature and food as much as we do. Get out and enjoy what God has given us and have a great one.